Hey, welcome back guys. I just wanted to make a really quick video about Windows Firewall. And this is intended for beginner users uh, because in, in, in Firewall can get really dry and whenever I make an advanced Firewall video, I will certainly go into the detail. But for now, I just wanted to show off the Windows Firewall features, uh, the simple Firewall features that are really easy to understand and even uh, simple to use, you know. So it will be very beneficial for everybody, right? So how do we get to a uh, uh, firewall? How do we find it? We can just simply type in, go to click start here and just type in Windows Firewall. And I happen to miss E here, Windows Firewall and Advanced Securities. So you can either click on this one or this one. It's it, Either one is fine. And then we'll get this pop-up. Let me just bring it over here. So, for example, let's say you have a program that you're trying to prevent from reaching out to the internet or you're trying to prevent any connections coming into it. This is where you want to be, right? And it's pretty simple. I know it looks, uh, it, it may look intimidating, especially somebody new here, but it's actually pretty simple to use and can be very, very useful. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, let's see here, inbound rules. So basically, inbound rules are basically the incoming connections to your computer. So if you have a program, for example, that you wanted to prevent from uh, getting in inbound uh, connections, so let's say there's something out there on the internet trying to reach out to your computer and tries to connect to this specific program, this is where you want to be. So on your left-hand side, you would click on inbound rules, and simply from here, you can just, on the right-hand side, so make sure you have inbound rules selected, you would select new rule, and the pop-up will come up, and I'll bring it over here. And here, and, and as I said, this is not an advanced video, so I'm not going to go into anything else but the, how to uh, block a program uh, within Firewall. So you just make sure the program is selected. And then down here, you would just select Next. And then here, it's pretty simple, actually. So from, from here, you would just click Browse and then navigate to whatever the location uh, of the, your program. For in my example, we're just going to go ahead and block Fraps program. So you want to look for the executable, right? So it's the... Uh, yeah, the the main application that runs, right, for the fraps. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and so we're in a root of C now, and so we're just going to select fraps here, and here's the executable or the application for fraps, and here we just got to make sure it's selected, and we click open, you know, and then from here you can tell that we selected, and that's the path of it, and that's the share path of it, and then we can just click next down here, and then here you want to if if you if you're trying to prevent the the connections from coming into this program, so basically from the internet, uh, you know, to your to your program con communication, you want to click block the connection. So make sure this is selected, and this will stop from any inbound connections for coming through. And you can leave this here by default. Domain basically implies that if you're connected to a domain, your computer is connected to domain, then that's when to block it. Or you can specify, you know, privately means it usually means that you're connected at home, and public it's like a public place, you know, like a coffee shop or something. And these rules you can change if you'd like, but if you just want to keep it simple, you can block all of these regardless. Okay, so you just click next, and here you can just type in the name, uh, you know, fraps, or whatever you like, and then you can, you know, type in description if you like, so that way you can keep track of it, and just hit finish, and then you have it, you know. Now all the connections to fraps from outside are blocked, you know. And then you'd, have, you'd want to do the same thing if you're trying to block for the outbound for the outbound connection. So outbound basically means that you want to prevent that program, in our case FRAPS, from reaching out to the internet. So you know you try to stop it from going out from your computer. Okay. So make sure same deal. Uh, basically, you just select outbound rules here. As you can tell, I already have a bunch of them here for random things. So um, you can just select outbound rules. The same difference over here. You just hit new rule. And I'm gonna bring this here, and then you can leave it at program. And then same deal, we're going to click Browse here, find our fraps, and we're just going to select it, and same deal. So we're just going to make sure that the block, the connection is selected, and the, leave all these defaults, and then hit Next, and then you can type in fraps again, or you know whatever the name of your program is, and then click Finish. And there you have it, guys. Both inbound and outbound connections to fraps are now blocked. Okay, well there you have it, guys. It's pretty simple. And then uh, in the future, I will go of, over advanced settings of firewall if you're interested in that. And then, but not now because you know I just wanted to go over real quick for beginners because I feel like this is uh, most relevant thing you can do at home. Basically, you know, um, chances are if you're in a business environment, these type of rules already be set. 
and you can even check those by if, if you go to monitor just a quick tip uh, and you can just go to security rules and security associations and it, it can get really dry and complicated but I, I can certainly go through it um, in my future videos for advanced users okay thanks for watching guys please share my videos uh, with your family and friends and look forward to more videos every week okay bye bye <laughs>